This week I thought I would give you a little peek into what we are calling our home away from home while we are at elk camp. Now we have been here for two and a half weeks already, but we still have another two and a half weeks left to go. So I thought I'd take you in here, give you a peek, show you around, and just show you what we are up to day to day right now. Now we do have a large canvas tent while we are out here. This is a 16 by 20. It's fabulous. We have enough room in here for all of our beds, a kitchen. We have a wood stove in here. It's really like a home away from our regular home. I'm going to go ahead and take you in here and give you a little peek at what's inside the tent and then we'll look around at what's all outside. All right, so this little space here is our kitchen. This is where I spend a lot of my time at. I'm pretty much the only one that cooks at camp. Now, if I'm out hunting, one of the boys will cook, but usually I'm here every single night to do us a home cooked meal. Clay's been out all day, and I really like to have him a really good hearty meal when he gets home. One thing that we did add this year to the kitchen is this shelf right here. We always felt like we just never had enough room and things were just sitting around on the counters, cluttering the counters. And so this year, Clay built me a shelf. It has hinges and it hangs from the frame of the tent. So up here I have all of my spices, our syrups, our honeys, our electrolytes. We have hot chocolate. We, for the, we have hot chocolate for the boys. We have our coffee, tea, salad dressing. Um, Betty, this is Betty, this is my sourdough starter, she's here. Peanut butter, our oils, wine, all that is right here above the stove that I can get to. So all of our food is stored in these black and yellow tubs. Mice here are really bad, especially with the weather starting to get cooler and they will eat into everything. And so anything that we have that they can get into goes into these buckets right here. Then over here, the next section is cans of meat that I canned at home and that's what we brought. They're wrapped in either Christmas paper or birthday paper, just so on the way here, they're not clanging around and um, breaking. In this tent here, we do have this wood stove. It is fabulous. It heats this tent up really, really nice. And so for the past few days, we've had really cold and rainy weather, and we were able to, you know, keep this going and keep it nice and warm in here. Clay and them just went and got more firewood today. We already went through half this much before but they went and restocked us with firewood that is hopefully to keep us here until we till we leave but that's to use in the wood stove here but also you know to have bonfires out here and then also to use when i do my you know cooking my sourdough bread and you know the biscuits cakes like that i use this wood as well so we are ready to go with that clay went and added these little hooks here for us this year he welded these hooks here for us this year and so we have these all around the tent helps just really to keep it neater we have all of our backpacks hung up you know the kids have their little area where they can have their bag we have the gun the bows all that kind of stuff hung on these and it really just keeps everything off the ground which is really nice because mice will eat into anything and then of course that once we start getting rain and snow the, the ground just stays wet we do i do of course do laundry out here um that's what these are for or just for clothes that we are not wearing at the moment we can just leave them hanging here we have two of these socks typically stay drying over the fire all the time but we have two lines that go all the way back to the end of the tent so on our beds we all have a wool blanket and then a thick sleeping bag but we also have these little foam pads on here and then this year we just went and got um two sheets two twin size sheets and then we sewed a big pillowcase around that it just helps keep it from getting as dirty and you know it doesn't keep the foam doesn't pick off as much and it's more comfortable to lay on than you know just that foam pad and then we have our pillows here um, clay and i have a double cot here the boys have singles um, our dog cedar does sleep with finn so I do homeschool while we're out here. So in the corner here, I have a box of the kids' school books. We have art supplies, different types of books, um, watercolor paints, things like that. All right, so let me get a jacket on because it's getting cold. And then we're gonna go outside and show you around. And we got rain down in the valley. The rainbow's really pretty.
All right, so we have our ice chest full of food here. We just went to town yesterday and restocked, so this is really packed right now with meat and fresh vegetables in it and cheeses. So it's cool enough right now that we just open this up at night and everything just like, it doesn't freeze when we open it up at night, but it does get nice and cool in there. And then we close it down and it keeps it cool until the next night. And we just keep it in the shade. So right now it's here beside the tent. All right, so today is laundry day. You'll see we have laundry behind us. This is not normally here. The line is not normally there, um, but right now, hoping to get everything dry um, before nightfall, but I don't think it's gonna happen because nightfall is, sun's gone down behind the mountain, so it's not gonna be very long now. All right, so this little area here is our dishwashing station, and then over here we have our little drink cache. Um, Clay and I probably do drink more adult beverages while we are at camp, and so we always have them in this nice little area here staying cool for us. So this area here is probably one of my favorite areas. This is where I come down and have coffee every single morning at well i should say every morning that it's nice if it's cold and rainy i'm not coming out but um sun comes over the mountains here warms me up and it's just like the perfect place to sit here have your coffee and read a book and this is also the area that the kids spend the majority of their time in they're always making boats down here floating it down the creek they've made koi's actually back here working now and i don't know how he's in this water this water is like glacier water it is so so cold like so cold that when you put your feet in it, it like it's painful. It's like needles all in your feet. But he, but the boys stay out here and they play in it a lot. But he's got him a little dam fixed back here that's holding all of his boats that he sails up and down the river. They have little channels cut through here that they can get out here and um, you know just float their boats. Fall is definitely in the air here. It's getting cooler, but all of the willows and the aspen trees and everything around us has starting to turn color. So everything is just becoming this beautiful yellow and orange and it's so nice to see. All right, so I'm actually gonna take you over here and show you our bathroom. Yes, I am gonna do it because it is like the most magnificent view you'll ever see while you're going to the bathroom. So we're gonna go take a look. Here is the loo with this magnificent view but I will say it is getting mighty, mighty cold to come out here to go to the bathroom. So that brings us back to our home away from home right now. This place is absolutely fantastic. I love to come out here. There's a ton to do. The kids and I are hiking every day. We have, you know, what we call Fossil Mountain back here and Mount Geode. Fossil Mountain is full of these amazing fossils all over the place. You can just go and just spend hours and hours looking at all these fossils. Caves to explore, you know, woods to look at, creeks to play in, and then we have what we call Geode Mountain, which is, you know, a mountain that we climb up on top of, and then there are geodes all over the place. We go to it every year, and every year we find new and more exciting geodes, and then just a ton of places left for us to explore that we've never been to. So that's what we're going to be spending our next few weeks here doing but it's time for me to go get all this laundry off the line and time for me to start cooking dinner because clay and our friend mike will be back in just a couple hours and i always want to make sure i have a hot meal ready for clay when he gets home so we will see you on the next one make sure you're subscribed to the channel because i have a ton of videos going to be coming at you from while we are at elk camp everything from fossil hunting with the kids to finding geodes to hunting and day in the camp life what we're doing lots of cooking sourdough breads and biscuits in a dutch oven in the fire you're not going to want to miss it we'll see you next time